Last week, we've launched the first Sound of AI Hackathon, which will be held online from the 8th until the 10th of July. The Hackathon's theme is going to be audio and music tech. After announcing the Hackathon, I only saw Fitch releasing a video where I provide reasons why tech people and tech students, I believe, should participate in Hackathons. Let's get started. During a Hackathon, you can learn a wealth of new skills. For example, you can pick up new libraries or frameworks. Most likely, sponsors will provide access to their APIs. For example, in the case of the Sound of AI Hackathon, ACR Cloud and Cyanide AI will provide access to their music and content recognition APIs. More than that, you can also learn from other people. You're going to be in an environment with a lot of like-minded people from loads of different backgrounds with different level of expertise. So just by picking their brains and talking to them, you're going to learn quite a lot. Joining a hackathon is a terrific strategy to network with relevant people. As I mentioned, in a hackathon, you're going to be surrounded by like-minded people, which will come from relevant institutions like universities, like uh, companies, startups and enterprise. So if you can forge these relationships, these will not just be super cool to have in and of themselves, but they may in the future open doors for you. Most of the tech companies I help finding AI talent for mention the very same skill as super important, the ability of candidates to work under pressure. When you join a hackathon, you really learn to work under pressure. Why, you ask? Well, first of all, you may be in a team where you don't know your team members, so you're in a completely new environment and you have to adapt. And more than that, all of you guys, all the team members should strive towards the same direction to build something more or less complex within a certain deadline. So this is a perfect environment to improve your capacity to work under pressure. Companies sponsor hackathons to attract talent. This is particularly true for the Sound of AI hackathon where we have four amazing uh, sponsors. Finding talent in AI music and AI audio is quite difficult. So participating in a hackathon focused on music and audio tech is a great way of being noticed by companies. So how do you get noticed? Well, first of all, you have to put together an amazing hack and you have to present it very well. If all of those two things happen, and if you happen to also get a prize for your work, well, you're going to be noticed by sponsors and other companies. And this can start discussions with those companies to land a job, to start your career, or perhaps to find a job that's better suited for you. I've always thought that participating in a hackathon is just running a company for a few days. Why do you say? Well, because the processes involved are very similar. In a hackathon, you have to create an amazing team, just like you would do in a startup company. Then you have to create, come up with an idea that solves a problem, a real problem, just like you would do in a startup company. Then you have to execute on that idea, and then you have to sell that idea, in the case of a hackathon, to a jury. So you have to put together some marketing, some presentation that sells your idea and gets the buy-in of jurors. But in the case of a uh, startup company, more or less the same thing happens, but you now have to sell your idea to your customers as well as to investors. So all in all, you can equate these two processes. So when you participate in a hackathon, you are actually honing your entrepreneurial skills. And there you have five reasons why you should definitely join a hackathon. And now that we are here, I want to remind you about the first Sound of AI hackathon, which we launched last, last week. And in a matter of two or three days, all the 200 spots that we initially had were gone. So we had to extend and provide more spots. Now there are an additional 100 slots. So if you want to participate, I highly suggest you to go and subscribe. And if you want to sign up, you go down to the description box and you follow the link to the Hackathon website. That's all for today. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you next time. Take care for now.